Hey guys, in this video, I wanted to share with you guys my top 10 favorite apps um, that I use on a daily basis. And some of them might not be apps. Some of them are just tools that I use um, on my MacBook for both home and at work. Um, normally at home, I'm doing it for my blog and YouTube. At work, I'm doing it for my corporate nine to five uh, job. So the tools are first off, Alfred, Better Snap Tool, Notion, Wave, Adobe XD, Default Folder X, Pathfinder, Airmail, Daisy Disk, Photo Mechanic, and Visual Studio Code. And I used some of them like Visual Studio Code in a way that it wasn't meant to be. So I'll share all of that with you and how I use it. All right, the first app I wanted to share with you guys is Alfred. Alfred is this amazing little app that allows you to kind of find files um, on your computer. It's kind of like Spotlight, but on steroids. And I was able to kind of change um, my hotkeys from Alfred, which is normally like command space. I went ahead and put it shift shift. And if I wanted to look up an app, so let me say um, I want to look up Adobe Photoshop, I could do that. I could also um, search my Gmail. So if I hit Gmail and put Ryan in there. It'll allow me to find all my emails um, that has the name Ryan or something like that inside of it, which is awesome. I could also Google things. So Google search for, let's say, I don't know, lucky stars. It'll open up a window and just uh, go ahead and do that search for me, which is amazing. The next, all right, next up is better snap tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that. So if I have my window open like this, and I wanted to save this here and then maybe Alfred just like this here, like this size. What I can do is go ahead and go into better snap. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on change or no snap areas, create new snap area. And if I wanted to call this one, let's say Alfred. And then just, you know, change the window just like that and just put it right here and then Go ahead and add another one for this window size so let's say i wanted this window size just to be exactly like this okay i'm going to go ahead and click on it to make it active click on this create snap area and then i'll call it um small window just like that okay and then click out of it and click on that and so now if i go here and if i click on this and just kind of like drag it and go here, it'll move it back. So then if I wanted this to be where Alfred was, if I click on that, it just puts that there. Or if I wanted Alfred back there, I can go ahead and drag it and put it into that box and it'll show up there. So that's what's really amazing about the Better Snap tool. Now the next tool I wanted to share with you guys is Notion. So this is my Notion schedule and you can see um, this is how I have it set up. So I've got my inspiration, my goals, uh, my knowledge vault, um, things for my blog, YouTube goals, Pinterest, analytics tracker. I've got like compensation stuff, retirement, uh, expenses, um, things I consume and experiences. So that's really um, what my Notion looks like. And um, generally I have things in this private section where you can probably see like all the different like details on what pages it kind of links out to. So I'll go ahead and show you guys one of those. Um, so the first one is the uh, blog post for um, my mom's website. And so you can see here, I have it linked to a Kanban view of all the things I need to write for. So that is basically how I have um, Notion kind of set up. So this is my, my operating system so that whenever I go to this page, I know what to do. Also for my manifestations, when I click on it, it takes me to a page where I have all of my manifestations that I've done on a daily basis. And if I want to create a new one, I create a new one from the template here. So really, um, I know this is kind of woo woo for some of you guys, but if you guys wanted a journal or something like that, you guys can kind of use that kind of like a, as an inspiration to how to do it. So if I want to do that, I can click on here and hopefully I don't have too much information on here to kind of share with you guys. But Anyway, so this is uh, basically things I'm grateful for, what would make today great, yesterday's story, and then uh, basically all my gratitude prayers and affirmations below. Another tool that I use that I won't go into uh, to share with you guys, but Wave is where I do a lot of my accounting for uh, my business. So how it works is that I record all the expenses. It flows from our bank accounts into Wave and then I categorize them. And at the end of every quarter, uh, my accountant is basically, uh, I tell my accountant, hey, I, I want payroll to be this amount of money for my husband and I. And then she does all the accounting for us. And then at the end of the year, I send her my, uh, profit and loss statement and all the other financial paperwork and it's directly from wave it's at least free for how we're using it if you guys go to pricing you can see how much it costs but overall i pay my accountant to do the payroll i don't actually have uh, wave 
doing my payroll, but um, all of that, like accounting is basically what I use it for and receipts is what I use it for. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, there aren't any like financial transactions that actually go on with Wave for me. It's more of tracking my expenses, my profit and loss, and it's been a great tool. I think it's better than uh, QuickBooks Online because I'd be doing the same thing. I think QuickBooks has a better um, app if you're like on the go and you wanna kind of categorize your expenses on the go. I'm not having to kind of go through my expenses on a daily basis. I do it more on a monthly and quarterly basis. And so Wave's been um, awesome for me and I don't have to pay the 10 to $15 a month for QuickBooks Online or even pay $300 for the actual desktop version of QuickBooks. Next up is Adobe XD. I absolutely love Adobe XD because I use it a lot for my thumbnails as well as for my Pinterest images and it makes it so easy uh, to use. Now I know a lot of you guys um, use Canva which is great or PicMonkey um, but I find that if you have a subscription already to the Adobe Creative Suite and you're using Pinterest um, this is a great way to create like um, images for your pins and um, also for your website. So here I can go ahead and click on this okay and oh so here's what it looks like. Um, this is These are all of my pins that I have and if I wanted to change a different color because you know Pinterest likes fresh pins right now, I'll go ahead and select this entire thing, right? Um, I'll do that again here. Control copy, control paste, it'll paste it here. And then I can just go in and change the background color to let's say this blue. And it just makes it so easy um, to kind of change up my pins a little bit and also do some A-B testing to see what colors like do better. Um, and then I can change the file name. So let's call it uh, Blue Tutu DIY Project, right? And then I can call this one Other Snow Globe. And I'll go ahead and highlight this, making sure that I highlight the actual, um, I think they call it the sheet or something like that. But File, Export, Export Selected, and then it will then bring up this window and I will um, do JPEG and do it at 60% export. And then if I bring up my desktop, desktop, um, let's see here. There you go. Now you see it. So those are the two files that I have um, on my desktop. So that is basically Adobe XD in a nutshell. All right, so Default Folder X is the next program I wanna talk about. It is an awesome tool if you are struggling always to try to find folders in Finder when you're trying to download something. So for example, on this page here, this is Default Folder X. Um, it's made by St. Clair website, right? So let's say I wanted to save this or what, wherever, but whether you're in an app or whether you're in Photoshop or if you're in a document, if you're trying to find a folder and it's really hard for you to find your uh, recent folders or favorite folders, you can actually have favorite folders folders in here and store them. As you can see here, um, you can also like look at your most recent folders so that you can kind of see and open up um, files on your desktop. Also here is the, um, I'm going to show you guys real quick, the preferences for default folder X. So here you can uh, showcase kind of like um, your preferences for uh, the general tab. And so here on the general tab, you can see that uh, you can choose to have it start when you log in, show the menu on the bar. Um, you can see the folders. So if I wanted to add like my blogging folder, for example, so I'm going to go to my external hard drive, which is where all my stuff is stored. Um, and I'm going to go and just make sure that I have, let's say, this blog right here. Okay. Um, so when I like go to my default folders, you can see this. And let's say I wanted to add a favorite folder. So my favorite folder is, let's say, our annual yearbook, okay? And so um, that's my preferences. So if I go back and try to save this, you can see on the right here, it, or on the left, and you can choose to have it on the right, um, you can see that in here, you can see my annual yearbook is there, and then also the default folders that it opens up will be uh, that folder that I chose, and so you can see recent folders as well, and then go through my computer. So it's really easy to kind of navigate instead of having to go in here and try to find your folders that way. Uh, all of your most common folders uh, can be found here on this left screen as well. Next tool is um, Pathfinder. Pathfinder is basically a replacement for Finder, I feel like. It allows me to have two windows open, so often what I'm doing is I'm having to move files around on my desktop, so I'll want this window here and this window here, and it's just great to be able to kind of um, maneuver around all these folders with having two windows, and then if I wanted to open this in another tab, I could, so open tab and tab, and you can see I have two tabs open. So if you're trying to kind of um, 
you know, move around your desk, move around folders um, on your computer. You can do that here. Um, so that's been great. Often I'll have like my downloads folder where I have a ton of stuff in there and I just need to be able to organize it. So like this project right here, I would probably want to move it to uh, my ideas account somewhere. So if I wanted to do like content blog and I just want to move this over here, I could just like that. Um, and because this is on external drive, I should have hit uh, command, but that's what that is. Uh, and it also allows you to kind of um, see all your tags that you have. Um, you have your devices similar to Finder, but uh, basically on a bigger scale. And if there are things that you want to have on this menu here, you can have that. And there's a ton of different things that you can add at the top. But overall, the only reason why I use it is to have two folders side by side and makes it easier to like kind of navigate my windows um, so that I have one window here, one window here. And if I needed to open up a different tab so that I don't lose it, I can do that. So that's um, a tool that I use uh, pretty often. Next up is Airmail. Airmail has been just life changing for me, I feel like. Um, I have a lot of accounts that I kind of manage and I want to be able to kind of switch in between them. So here's my mom's blog, right? And then I have my blog. So these are two things that um, I kind of switch in and out from. And what's really great is like this, for example, um, I can go ahead and click on V to move and I can just move it to a folder if I needed to. So with one, you know, click of a button. I know you can do um, in, um, I think, Microsoft Outlook, Control Shift or Command Shift M to move things, but I just find like everything's just very, very intuitive. And in here you can change like all of your different um, settings if you wanted to. But I generally have all of my accounts here and it's just great to kind of navigate. And on my um, iPad, I actually have all my kids' um, school accounts in there so I can check them. Um, their airmail app for um, the iPad is awesome as well as their uh, phone. The phone is amazing because it gives you different options like this and you can customize them to what it what fits. So if you do like labeling or moving a lot you can add those as little shortcuts on your app versus uh, in Gmail like if I want to label something I have to go through my entire list whereas with Airmail it allows me to search for my labels. That's something really great about airmail. Next up is Daisy Disk. Daisy Disk is awesome because if I'm like running low on disk space, I can use Daisy Disk to actually um, kind of scan my computer. So I can scan it and see where all my space is. And I can go ahead and like purge those spaces if I needed to. So airmail just gives me a really quick way to kind of see where I'm using a lot of my space. And you, you guys can go through here and kind of check out like where you're using space. All right, next up is Photo Mechanic. This is Photo Mechanic. It allows me to see all of my raw files really, really easily and it loads really, really fast. Unlike with like Adobe Bridge, I feel like it's super slow, um, but this allows me to kind of see all of my files. So here's my workflow for um, photos for the blog or even my family when I shoot in raw. Um, I'll take the memory card, I'll go ahead and dump it to a folder that's already named and I'll call it like raw. And then what I'll do is then I'll import it here and go through and cull. Cull means just to pick your favorites. And so I'll just click on one. And then once I'm done there, um, one is like, I guess, red. And so I'll go ahead and unselect it, highlight it, and then go ahead and drag it into uh, Lightroom where I continue editing. You don't really edit here. The whole point of this is to kind of cull your uh, images and label them and change the metadata if you want to. I don't really touch the metadata even though I should with all the images that I take, but generally my, my job in here is just to cull the photos really, really quickly. And that allows me to do that. So if I go ahead and click on this, you can see how fast like some of these raw files um, show up. Normally it would take forever, especially in like the preview pane for Finder or Pathfinder. Um, but this is, I mean, really, really awesome just to be able to kind of just look through all the images really, really quickly. All right, so next up, I wanna show you guys Visual Studio Code. This is a programmer's tool. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but it's like Notepad on steroids, I feel like. I know Notepad and Note++ and all that are some very, very popular note-taking apps that allow you to not have a lot of formatting in it. I just find that this thing is amazing. So if I go ahead and click on New here, and I can write a, a note, so let's say, um, uh, hello world, right? I can also change like the type of um, it, like type of file this is. So I can make it an HTML file if I wanted to. So I could say um, a, and then it'll uh, put all of the different tags on there. So if you guys are familiar with HTML or you guys are bloggers, um, you guys can use this. But I generally use this as a way 
to just do plain text or markdown just in here. Um, it makes it really easy and all the files will open up and I can save it um, as I need to. And so it'll also open up all my folders where I have note taking in here and allow me to save things really, really easily. So it just allows me just to be able to type and like just do what I need to and save it without having to have like 10 different notes up. Um, I know brackets is another tool that's very, very similar as well and sublime text that are used for just general like note taking. But I know a lot of people use the uh, Notes app um, on the Mac. That's pretty native, just so you be able, you can be able to access it on your phone um, when you're on the go. But overall, I prefer um, this just because I'm working on the computer all the time, and I also work with engineers, so whenever they send me code, I can at least look at it and see. But Visual Studio Code is also awesome just for text, and I also uh, write a lot of blog posts in here as well um, that I can keep. Another app that I absolutely love is called OneTab. It's really not an app, it's an extension for uh, Google Chrome. So let's say I have all of these windows open um, and I just wanna close them, but I also wanna be able to save them so I can refer to them later just because I wanna remove all the clutter that's in my browser. Cause you guys know that um, Chrome is a memory hog. And so if you have too many tabs open, it slows down your computer. So I wanna be able to save this for later. Um, so what I can do is click on this little OneTab button. See that, the little funnel? and it'll save all that and close all the windows. And so what I can see here is all of the different apps that I actually have, which is or all the different URLs that I actually had open. And so I can save this or I can restore them. So I can go ahead and click on restore and it will restore all of those sites and remove it from this section. So let's say you didn't want to restore them um, and, and remove it from this, um, this section. So what you can actually do is let's say for this one, well, I have these all saved. So basically what you can do is go to more and then you can either star or, or lock that tab group. So if I unlock it, when I go ahead and restore, it'll remove it from this page, but I can choose to lock it if I have it uh, as a daily uh, thing that I look at. So here, um, whenever I'm doing Pinterest, I have a daily Pinterest strategy. I have like lead magnet ideas. I have stuff for uh, Thrive Leads down here. So you guys can see that like things I open on a daily basis, I have it locked. Um, and sometimes I will st star them so they're at the top. But overall, it's great, especially when, again, you wanna save those tabs and you wanna close it. Um, and again, it's called one tab. And that is my bonus tip uh, for all you guys who are looking for a way to kind of declutter your desktop. So that's pretty much it for all of the apps that I use um, on a daily basis. I probably have a ton more that I could probably share with you guys, but that's overall the tools that I use um, for both work in YouTube and uh, the blog. If you guys have any questions at all, go ahead and leave a comment below on some of the apps that I've used or um, ask me how I use them. I'm more than happy to kind of share my tips and tricks with you because I'm all about productivity um, and just making sure that my time on computer is well spent um, because at the end of the day, I've got four kids. I need to be able to be very, very fast at what I do on the computer. So anyway, hope that helps and um, make sure you subscribe and click on the like button because that will really help out the algorithm for YouTube. Thanks guys. Bye.